Welcome to the MBS Show, episode number 450. I am your host, Norman Sanso, and today we got some interesting news for you this week. Let's not be that and let's hop right into it. So, first news is My Little Pony Transformers uh, Cross Transformers Friendship in Disguise 2 Crossover Mini Series announced. So, let's see what we have here. Okay. <clears throat> Ahead of this Friday's new comics uh, solicitation for April 2021, IO9 has exclusively revealed there will be a sequel to the My Little Pony slash Transformers Friendship in Disguise miniseries from last year. Last, year, last, <clears throat> last year's event featured the Transformers heading to Equestria for a whole bunch of fun, feel, and silly adventure. This year's event is going to do the opposite, and the ponies of Equestria head to Cybertron to defeat the evil forces of the, of the Decepticons. Currently announced for the... <coughs> oh, sorry about that. <coughs> Currently announced for the series are writers Jim Asmus and Sam Maggs with artists Jack Lawrence and CZW, uh, KCW, color, uh, co- co- color, all, uh, color all returning from the original crossovers. Name in the reveal cross cover and... Uh, sorry. Uh, reveal our cover... Sorry. Name in the reveal cover are Tony Fleece, Ian Flynn, and colors Luis Antonio Delgado. Alright, let's see. Uh, now according to the IO9 article. After the Decepticons attempt, attempt to bring some equestrian magic to Cybertron via the Space Bridge, the they unleash a prime evil that threatens to destroy both worlds. While friendship is indeed magic, when confronting ancient evils, you're probably going to want a few robots that can transform into fighter jets on your side too. <clears throat> uh, the first issue, Friendship in Disguise 2, will hit the shelves in... <coughs> oh my god. Sorry about that. Oh, April. Currently no word of whether this will be a weekly event series like the original or was built uh, built to be a four months miniseries. Mm-hmm. And the follow up is um, more or less, but we get a bit more. Um, while using a modified space to bridge to bring magic to Cybertron, the Decepticon ended up unleashing a more powerful evil from Equestria that they ever could have imagined. Uh, looks like the only way t- out of this is to team up more ponies, more robots and more magical mayhem as the two world collides in the return of this hit crossover event. Uh, 32 pages, $4 uh, to be announced, uh, to be to be decided, to be decided Diamond cover code to be decided. All right, so what we have here is a another awesome crossover comic. Uh, give me a second. I think I might be low. All right, there we go. So anyway, um, what we have here is another crossover comic, and yes, I have read all four issues of the My Little Pony Transformer crossover, and it was a really interesting read. Uh, there were a bit of hidden misses here and there, and I do wish some characters get more, what you would call this, more spotlight and whatnot. But hey, uh, what we had was pretty awesome. And granted that the robots came to Equestria, so it feels like they're really trying to, well, tone down the damage and make sure that Equestria is safe and whatnot. And yeah, it's understandable. But this time around, we head to Equest- sorry, we head to Cybertron, and we get to see 
how things are going to be working there. Uh, I do believe that we're going to get the same tone as the comics or the previous comics. So we're not going to get that full-fledged hardcore uh, Transformers comics that previously uh, or that in the series is known for. But I can't wait. Um, they say that they release a powerful evil from Equestria. Um, who could that be? Um, this I, I'm guessing this is probably before season nine because Chrysalis exists. So could it be Tyrek or could it be um, an OC for the series? Who knows? But knowing the show, I sorry, knowing the series, I, I think that they could have either created a new monster for the comic, or they could have dug up an old G1 bad guy and introduced it here. I mean, the options are limitless, uh, sorry, endless, and we'll see what they have to do. And you know, honestly, it's not that hard. Um, if you have a catalog of baddies to pick from and a good team of writers and artists to bring it to life, that's always a good thing. So, uh, moving on to the last news. And last news is how to make Zap Apple Jam. Yes. So, the folks at Feast of Fiction just created a, well, Zap Apple Jam recipe. And you can make it at home. It's pretty simple. Um, I'm just going to summarize it because I saw the video and it's a lot of fun. Uh, some Granny Smith apples mixed in with some honey apples. I don't know. Uh, sugar uh, and so on. I mean, I'm not going to spoil everything. I don't remember. Uh, but the recipe is over there. You guys should check it out. And one of the few things that I remember of... Feast and Fiction, uh, Feast and Fiction, yes, is that uh, one of my favorite YouTubers, uh, Jimmy Wong, is part of the crew. Um, for you guys who got no idea who Jimmy Wong is, I don't blame you because he's not a huge name in the industry. But Jimmy here uh, hosts a number of shows. One of them is the Command Zone Podcasts. And that's all about Magic Gathering, the Commander format. Uh, other than that, there's what, um, if I'm not mistaken, he also played a video game high school. Uh, for, I, I mean, I think he played Jimmy or something, I don't remember. And also, uh, he played Mu, uh, he acted in Mulan as Ping. So, he's been around, he's getting there, he's going big. And, um, he, seeing him do um, his YouTube stuff is pretty cool. And what else? Yeah, uh, in, also in the Z Apple Jam episode here, they also say that, oh, we also made uh, apple-scented candles and whatnot. Uh, go to the videos to see how they... Uh, well, just go to the videos and see them talk about it. And that's about it for this week's episode. Oh, one more thing, Equestria turns 10 this year. So, awesome. Uh, congratulations, guys. Um, you guys did great. And, yeah, 10 years of ponies, pony news is not something to scoff at. It's really hard. And not every website or not... Hmm, uh, no, <laughs> no website can last that long without the awesome support from fans and uh, contributors and you guys somehow managed to keep it up it's an awesome it's really awesome guys so anyway um, moving on to well the next topic and next topic is what have I been doing with my week and in all honesty with the lockdown and whatnot it's hard to go anywhere and do anything Um, so playing video games watching TV is one of those things uh, I just realized what I've been doing my week is Really silly and just not me. And that's, well, I've been watching a lot of K-drama. 
uh, especially this one show um, called My Golden Life. Uh, I don't remember. I just watch it with my mom because, well, she wants to watch the dramas and me having to eat and whatnot, just join. And honestly, the show is not bad. The show is fun. Um, being an adult, you get to see, well, not really being an adult, but uh, just looking at, how do I put this? Uh, just looking at shows in a different light, like how they produce it, like what's the camera angle like, what's the uh, budget like. You, you get to see certain aspects like, oh, they're doing a lot of outside shots. That's interesting. Uh, when they go home, they're in a studio. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. Um, you, you get to see all these kind of things where, okay, um, where the budget goes. Oh, why did they blur that out? Oh, probably because they don't have the right to show it or the right is exclusive for Korea and whatnot. I mean, it's one of those things where it's interesting to see and point out certain things. And when something is blurred out, you, you immediately think, okay, what is this thing? What is this product? Especially when um, they have a phone and they blank out or they tape out the logo. Why did they do that? Why, why do they do that? And you, you, you think like, oh, maybe they don't have the license to show the phone or show the brand of the phone. I mean, those kind of things are very interesting. And when you see movies and they show uh, an iPhone and whatnot, okay, you, you have to wonder, why is that okay? Why, why is that not Why is certain thing okay and not okay? I mean, it's, it's a very interesting question. And sometimes when products are placed on TV, you can already tell, oh, uh, X company is pay, uh, sponsoring them for the brand recognition or brand highlights. Uh, usually those are highlighted in movies. Uh, if you remember the Power Rangers movie, uh, they really highlighted Krispy Kreme. Uh, okay, that that was a big talking point for them. Or in the Sonic movie, the Olive Garden, they, they talk about it like, oh, it's the Olive Garden. So, uh, brand recognition or just brand mentioning is a very interesting thing thing and when something is blurred out on tv drama whatever it is it speaks the mind to see why why did they do that why was this i mean uh for people who work in the industry probably know and there's no mystery anymore but folks like me uh, we know a little but it'll be interesting to find out and then there's be no mystery to it um, other than that, um, games, game, games. Nothing much, really. I mean, I, I I did mention that I started playing Dark Souls and so on, but I haven't found the time to really get into it. And with stores, well, um, a while back, uh, restaurants and whatnot are allowed to open at probably 9 a.m. or 7? 7, uh, 7 a.m. to or 9 a.m., till 6 p.m. So that's not a long time for people to get food. I mean, could you just imagine you... Was it 7? I, I don't remember. What, what, could you... Sorry, 8, 8 p.m. My bad. It was from uh, 9 to 8 or 7 to 8, give or take. But could you just imagine uh, going to work, let's just say your 9 to 5 job, Heading out at 8, arriving at 8.50, starting work at 9, working for a few hours and whatnot, and heading back home at 6 because most of the malls are uh, allowed to operate to 6 p.m. So just imagine, after finishing your work at 6, you need to head home. Now everybody's heading home, so you're, you're having to deal with traffic. So by the time you reach to your, let's just say, your local food eatery, uh, let's just say, for argument six, um, the McDonald's, um, just head to the McDonald's at around what seven plus, 
And you're not the only one. Probably there's a bunch of other people who want Mickey D's. And yeah, you have to wait in line. And when it hits around 8, Mickey D's have to close down because it's quote-unquote the rule of the pandemic or um, trying to slow down the pandemic. So now people are pissed off because they don't have anything to eat and they go home and eat ramen. And that's another story if you have ramen or ramen. I mean, like, the So... Um, now, the country is allowing, the country has agreed with the people that that sucks and we understand how you feel. And now, any food eatery or restaurants are allowed to open till 10. I mean, uh, two hours more makes the difference. Really, it makes a huge difference. Uh, if you're just buying to survive, then yes. If you're just buying to enjoy, man, come on. We're in a state of pandemic. You should really think about your priorities. But anywho, that's besides the point. And I have gotten a bit more mm, not fun. Anyway, yeah, yeah, pony, pony, ponies. Um, <clears throat> yeah, talking about ponies. Um, you know what? I I'm gonna save that talking point for the review and discussion podcast yeah so anywho let's wrap things up let's wrap things up so anyway i <laughs> if you have any uh questions concerns or suggestions for the show you can contact us at the gmail.com and if you want to reach <laughs> you can also reach us on the twitter the show's twitter account is at the mbs show and my personal twitter account is at norman sanzo you know, so please subscribe to us on iTunes, YouTube. Don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date. And also Stitcher Radio and also like our Facebook page. You can also catch us on PonyLive.com. Links are in the show notes. Uh, also do subscribe to the Review and Discussion Podcast on iTunes and Stitcher Radio. Over there, you get to hear me, Totera, reviewing the Pony Comics episodes and specials. Sometimes we do other things than ponies and those are... Comics, cartoons, video games, and anime. Yep, we do animes. And yeah, if you'd like to support the show, you can do so at patreon.com slash the MBS show. With every support, you get a week's ex- <laughs> a week's early access to review and discussion podcast exclusive and deleted content. And a huge thank you from me. Oh no, uh-huh, yes, thank you from me. And those thank you goes out to Lucky Knight. Jeffrey, Mr. Black, and also Tristan. Thank you so much, guys. You are great. Anyway, I have been Norman Sanzo, and I'll, <laughs> and I'll catch you guys next week with another fun episode of the Yes Show. See ya!